Greetings, friends. What you're about to watch is me take on a refund scammer, quite, quite foolish refund scammers, who gave me two USA banks for use in sending money, uh, which I reported to the federal government, known as Hawala banks, generically. These are basically, in my case, U.S. businesses that elected to use their business to help the scammers in India or Pakistan launder money. As a result, the owners of these accounts, which are very valuable to me as a scam baiter, um, are, are suspended. And then during the, during the time of suspension, any funds sent by another victim or funds in the future sent by, that, by a victim get returned to those victims. So it's a big win all around. That's why reporting U.S.-based business banks is far more valuable than a standard money bill bank. Hope you enjoyed this. This was a great scam bait, and I, I have many, many more to come. Cheers. Thank you for calling PayPal. This is Eric William over here. How can I help you? Um, hello, Eric. I'm calling because in my email this morning, I received an invoice from PayPal. It's telling, okay. me, that, it's telling me that I'm going to be paying $608 for a Sony TV 58-inch. Uh, as I check in my system, it's in everything. Uh, there isn't a one purchase under your details. And it's been costing you around uh, over $600, okay? So this is an, a confirmation mail for our company for, from the PayPal. We find wow. out some suspicious activities over there. And that's why we, uh, we have to ask to the customer that they want to continue with this or they want to cancel it. Because, ma'am, as you know, there is a lot of scamming and hacking going on in this world. And we don't need to take any risk over there, okay? So right. we just need your confirmation. You want to continue with this or would you like to cancel it out? Can you please to let me know? Well, I would have answered you earlier if you would have given me a chance. We want to cancel it because we already have a Samsung TV. And it's bigger than this one. Why would we order a small <laughs> TV? Okay. Uh, okay. Why you want this? Okay. You have a better version of it. We have a, we right. have a Samsung okay. 80 inch. We have an 80 inch TV. This video is sponsored by Aura a service which keeps your personal information safe. Recently, a company that provided background checks, national public data, was attacked by a hacking group known as USDOD. Over 2.9 billion records on U.S. citizens were stolen, containing Social Security numbers and other personal data. This came as a shock to many of us, but for me, it comes as no surprise, as hacking attacks, Ransomware attacks and data breaches occur on a regular basis. The FBI director has repeatedly claimed there are hundreds of red flags facing our nation. Many network routing and programmable logic controllers contain chips manufactured in China, rendering many utilities susceptible to hacking. You can expect more of these breaches going forward as a result, happening with greater frequency and greater impact. That's where Aura comes to save the day. Aura is the number one identity theft protection service rated by security.org, provided fraud monitoring, antivirus protection, password management, and VPN rolled into a single low-cost package. Aura will monitor the dark web daily for personal information like email accounts, passwords, bank accounts, and even social security numbers. Aura will notify you if your information is compromised so that you can take proper action as needed. I have had family members who were victims of identity theft in the past, and the experience is unbearable. So it's safe to say that you need to protect yourself as well. Go to Aura.com slash ModderPaul for a free two-week trial to find out if your personal security is compromised. Oh my god, that's good. 
um, what I'm gonna do, madam, I'm not gonna force you. I'm not forcing you to have this TV for yourself. I'm gonna let you know how can you cancel this process and how will you get the refund amount because that's your money. If any single penny get debits from your account, you will get it back from our company. Okay. Okay. Um, that sounds perfect. Okay. I mean, I mean there's obviously um, that's perfect. But, uh, there's obviously okay. some kind of confusion or mistake. Cause, um, uh, yeah, it's might be uh, it's might be a possible chance, ma'am, that somebody have your information, and it's maybe possible they have doing or they are doing all of these things. We have a few. We don't have any idea about that. But what happened? We need to know about this from where this charge came through. So for that, I'm going to provide you the 3D cancellation form to you, okay, on your computer. You do you use a Google Chrome or a Microsoft Edge? Um, Google Chrome. Google Chrome. Go ahead and open the Google Chrome browser. I'm going to generate the 3D cancellation form under your details, and we are going to send it to you on your computer so that you can go ahead, take your sweet time, and fill the form from your rent, the cancellation and refund form. The real reason that the scammer tells you they have to connect to your computer to fill out a refund form isn't so much for the form itself, although it shouldn't be a surprise that they do capture that information and use it in the future. Um, but it's mostly so that they can get a glimpse at how much you have in your bank account so that they can then formulate how much they want to steal. An example from a recent stream I had, once the scammer saw my balance, they wanted to delay the decision for up to an hour. And that tells me that was them trying to buy time so that they could find out how they were going to steal from me. Because in that particular instance, I indicated I would not do Bitcoin. So that's why they needed an hour. So it's purely they remote in. They want to get a peek at your balance so that they can then figure out how much they want to steal. Pretty bad. So for that, just be safety and do not share me any of your information. I'm going to let you know and I'm going to let you do each and everything in front of your eyes. Just do the procedure, okay? Um, yes, I see cancellation and refund form. Uh, better, okay. oh, better business, better business bureau. That's nice. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. This this file is going to the better business bureau, and they will gonna take care of it. Just take your sweet time and fill up by your end. It says refund link has been sent to your online banking to accept the refund. Uh, okay, okay. Refund scammers often make reference to the Better Business Bureau, as if it were some kind of <clears throat> security government organization of the United States. This foolish ignorance is a common problem with these scammers. They think Better Business Bureau, the bureau meaning it's part of the government, and that can't be further from the truth. Also, too, they told me to look for a refund link, which did not appear in my bank, and then that's why they then wanted to transfer me to the billing department to find out why that refund link didn't show up. Go figure. Now, as you cooperate with me, I really had a, I really had a great word with you. So I also want you to cooperate with them and have a word with them and tell your every problem to them, okay? Okay, um, I will. Okay, ma'am. Well, thank you for your help. Right, You've been very friendly. You're very friendly. <laughs> uh, yes. It's, part, it's my part of job, man. Thank you. I really yeah. have a great word with you. Hi. Hi, Susanna. This is David. Thanks for hey, holding David. the line. How are you doing today? I'm doing really good, David. How are you? I'm, I'm doing okay. Well, Susanna, how is your health? Um, my health is fine. I'm, I'm actually a nurse, so I, I, I know how to take care of myself. All right, nice to hear that. Well, well, Susanna, my name is David, okay? And I'm the person who's going to send you the money right ahead right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to send you the money from directly from, from my portal account, from the refund portal account to your account, Susanna, okay? Write down your available balance, your checking account available balance in a piece of paper. So when you get your money back, you can see the differences. So you will come to understand that you got the money. 
So ma'am, you are done with everything. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect your account, my account. Okay, because as you can understand, you are talking with, you are inside the secure connection right now. So what can you see right now? What well, exactly you can see? It's um, doing a software update. It says do not turn off okay. your Okay, it means, it means you, are, you are successfully connected right now. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to open a portal right in front of you. It's a refund portal. From the portal, I'm going to send you the money, okay? And wow. ma'am, this is your cat, right? Yeah, that's uh, Bufus. He's a main coon kitty. Sorry? That's my kitty, Bufus. Sorry? He's a, that's my kitty, Bufus. Okay. He's a main coon Bufus. kitty. Okay. Okay, it's a lion. Uh, he, it looks like, she looked like lion. Well, it's a All main right, ma'am, just it's let, a, let... It's a, it's a main coon. You ever seen a main coon? No, ma'am, I don't know about the animals. All right, ma'am, let's come to the oh. business because this line is getting recorded, okay? So okay. let's come to the business. I'm sorry. So That's just okay. give me one minute of time. You will come to see your account yeah. and my account with both are get connected. All right. Okay. Now it's doing the software. All right. Just okay. hold on. Again. All right. It means you're getting connected because you are in secure connection. Okay. Okay. Ah, the software update screen. Well, it serves several purposes. One, it allows the scammer to mouse around your computer and look at things like your documents. They can try to get into your password manager in your browser, things like that. But mostly it's so that they can do it while you're logged into your bank and then they can edit the HTML so that when they show you the screen again with the keyboard locked, you're like, wow, I did get that refund. It's purely a, a disguise. It's, it'd be like somebody putting up a blockade while they shifted money around that's what they're doing it's very very mischievous very wrong and it should irritate a lot of people i'm sure many victims often question about the timing of that screen because it often happens after i log in before i even go to do my two-factor code they'll sometimes put that software update screen in and they're like telling me no it's just a security update no it isn't they're they're trying to fake the person in the thinking they can't see their screen because there's a good reason for it and it's nothing further from the truth nothing further from the truth and you're getting the money from the refund portal okay okay i'm not quite understanding what that means but <laughs> okay okay let me make you understand ma'am because if i don't make you understand how you're going to do it now listen but... to me very carefully ma'am ma'am this is the refund portal your account my account both are merged right now as you can understand ma'am we have a business account okay and you have a local account all right we're going to merge your account and with our account it's already get merged all right ma'am ma'am as you can understand you are getting the money from the portal so we cannot send you like 190 dollars 120 dollars we can send you like 100 200 300 so what we decided right now we're going to send you a 300 okay Oh, wow. $300 okay. sorry, refund. Just write it down in a piece of paper, ma'am. Okay? Please do not do any ma mistake or any backspace it because you are connected with the secure connection, okay? So do not do any type of mistake. If you do any type of mistake, Miss Suzanne, just, just ask him that, David, I did a mistake. Please help me, okay? As, as you can understand, it's a legitimate company, all right? Okay? So we have to do it in a proper way. I, I do see. believe you understand me. I, I Thank understand. you very much. I understand. The refund amount you have to put three hundred dollars point zero zero. Three three zero zero dot zero zero. Yes, 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 okay. ma'am. Okay. Often a scammer will open up a black command line screen and have you refill out a supposed form. They often call it a banking portal. And it's quite believable. I mean, I'm trying to think in terms of layman terms, but it does look like it could be a portal. The way that they do it is if it's a $500 uh, refund, they'll literally freeze the keyboard after you type 500. Or they'll let you type 500.00 and then real quickly delete the decimal. And now it's a $50,000 um, refund request. It's just a trick that they pull. It's quite pathetic, and unfortunately, people fall for it. If they didn't, we wouldn't see such a prevalence of these scams, and that's a shame. Oh, my uh -huh. goodness. There is a mistake happened, ma'am. Mistake? Hello? Happened. A mistake happened? Yes, ma'am. Just hold. 
Yes ma'am just hold on I will show you Oh my goodness shit uh, something wrong Can you see that ma'am user sues and money sent 30000 USD check your account end with Can you see the mistake now can you please go up can you please go up can you see I will show you the mistake where you have done the mistake can you see that how many zeros you have made well, that says 300000 Can you see that you got thirty thousand dollar in your account? It was forty seven hundred dollar, forty seven thousand dollar, right? Right. I had forty seven thousand. Now I have seven thousand. Mm, like Suzanne, you have done a very huge mistake, Suzanne. Like you have put might be it's not you, might be it's your keypad. Okay. Well, from what I see, it says three hundred period zero zero zero. Mm, no, 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 ma'am. If you put the periods and this is the portal, ma'am. Okay, this is the portal. The periods will not take it, ma'am. About this zero, and as you can understand, I'm you got the money. I told you, and I told you, please do not do any type of mistake, or else what will gonna have? Like they gonna put a hold on your account, ma'am. Okay? Do you trust on me that you got extra money in your account? You did a mistake. Do you trust in this call? Hello? Um. Yeah, I can see Hello? clearly. Hello. But listen to me, Susan. Like right now, first of all, I need to go and talk with the accounts team because, as you can understand, you got the money from the refund portal, and refund means to send money, not to accept money. So we cannot take out the money from your account. Like we cannot take out the money from wire or from from check or from anywhere else. Like we cannot take out anything from your account from a single penny. It's a refund. Like it's a refund account, and we cannot accept money right now. The problem is that, and this happened. This never happened. even as you can understand ma'am my job and even you are talking to that person who was talking to you before even both her job is in stake ma'am it's about $30000 even we don't earn in one month even we don't earn in two months and you need to talk with eric right now so what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and check it okay in my system all right okay. and do not touch anything all right don't touch it your account and my bank account both are connected so please do not please do not entertain your account from anywhere else like do not log in from anywhere else because if you do anything they will see any find suspicious what will happen they're going to lock your account like 7 14 days refund scammers almost always tell you to not log into your bank using your mobile device or any other device in your home and that's simply because the changes they make using html editing only affect that particular instance of the browser in other words if the user could somehow refresh the browser those changes would go away if they logged into the bank with their phone they would not see those changes that's why the scammer is so adamant that they not use their mobile device they'll often say that the refund will only work on the computer they're remoted into because it's connected to a secure server which is a bunch of crap yeah hi ma'am this is Rick Williams over here i'm fine Uh, okay, uh, right now uh, the David has connect your call to me back. Right now, what happened over there? There is uh, some mistakes. He do tell me about the mistakes. So it is. Is, is there any? Everything is fine over there, ma'am. Well, I mean, outside of this unpredictable astonishment, I'm I'm having a good day. I just wasn't expecting okay. this kind of blunder. I mean, that's. I don't know what to say. It's never happened to me before, so I don't know what to say. Um it's not happened with us also, madam. It's uh, uh David had said me that there is some huge mistakes from your end. But right now our job it's in dangerous, but uh, I do believe that ma'am you will help us. Right? All right, I'll do what I can. You what whatever you can do for us, you can do for me, okay? All right. all right madam so i'm um, just having a word with our billing department and we are trying to figure out each and everything what is wrong over there so we need we don't need to harm you and we don't need to harm your any information madam because that is all of your privacy okay so uh, this is david once again we are still talking with the bank okay with the cypress credit union main branch we are talking with them and we are telling them that this is the accidentally mistake happen okay from the customer end all right we explain it to them so they are just talking whatever will come up okay i'll let you know okay whatever we will come up okay so i just want you to just wait for like 2 3 minutes because it's about a money matter we cannot do in a fast way okay 
as you can understand we need just more time all right i've been on the phone with you guys for 40 minutes do you mind if i set the phone down and go to the bathroom i've been on the phone for 40 minutes yes 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 you don't have to ask me all this <laughs> see 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 listen to me you don't have to ask me you are like my mother okay you don't have to ask me like this. you can put me on a speaker okay i will okay. not say hello to you okay and have a glass of water also okay and don't ask oh, yeah. me next time okay you're like my mother okay okay well i'm not your mother right. trust me <laughs> okay hold on yes mother yeah, please please because our both both people job is in stake right now okay hello hello yes hello yeah hi ma'am this is eric hi eric hello yeah okay. hi ma'am hello uh, i'm sorry I'm yeah. saying hello, hello, hello. Yes. <laughs> yes, I'm here. And please, ma'am, uh, it's there is a huge mistake. It's not a mistake. It's just an accident by your end. Okay. I'm not giving blame on you that you had made a mistake. My job is on a risk right now, and I do believe that you're gonna help me out as I do with you. Yes, I wouldn't leave you stranded like this. There's so obviously. Okay, ma'am. Okay, I appreciate that. I really appreciate that. We all mm-hmm. make mistakes. I don't know if it was. I guess maybe my keyboard was repeating itself, or yeah, yeah. Your keep about your keyboard. You had per pressed down the keyboard maybe uh, extra. That's why you have made this accidentally mistake. Okay, and uh, now what happened? I just get a a text from the David. Okay, he is free right now. We had a word with the accountant team. So what I'm gonna do? I'm going to simply connect your call with him. You just have right. a word with him and know about what you can do for me, okay? Please, it's about my job, ma'am. It's about my bread and butter, okay? Just help us out. All right. Once it's revealed to the victim that they have been overpaid, the scammer will often use a lot of tech tactics to make them uh, feel bad, gaslight them into thinking if they don't help them out, they're going to lose their job or certain terrible things will happen to their family. It's it's a big gaslighting ordeal. Sometimes they fake talking to their boss and their boss sounds mad. It's just a ruse. It's all designed to, to, to peek at the uh, emotional state of the of the victim. And it's quite it can be quite convincing, especially to a person who has age related illnesses. And that's a shame. It really is. Susan, first of all, we are need to tell you that we are just putting a hold on your account for like until unless we will get our money. So you don't have any problem, right? Well, I can I can understand why you would do that, but you shouldn't be worried. I'm not I'm not intending to keep. No, 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 no. It's about see, see. See, this is your account, so I need to ask you first, okay? So, so because the account, our account team said that to put on a hold until unless you will get our money back, okay? Because as you can understand, this is a lot of money, okay? All right, so listen to me. Hello. Uh, hello. Yes, Susan. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I've been talking to you for the past three minutes, basically. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. No, I'm very nervous right now. You can understand my situation right now. All right. Okay. And so right now, first of all, what you need to do, first of all, go ahead and just log in, give your ID and password and don't click on login, okay? Because I need to make it secure first, okay? No, that that is against. And don't I, when you put no, your password in, don't That is against what they teach me at my work. You never type your password and leave it. That's silly. No, 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 no. You don't have to click on login, I mean to say. No. Oh, my goodness. I told that, you not to. That is against every piece of training they give us at the hospital. You never type your password and leave it. Both account will be on hold, but we're going to leave this account because you have to return this money from your checking account. And please do not, like, do not worry or do not get upset, okay? Because I'll promise you, when we will get our money back, we will return your each and everything, okay? Each and every penny. That's my promise to you, okay? Okay. And um, my only thoughts were, um, you need to try to get your bank to cancel the transaction. And if that fails for any reason, I can then contact my mm-hmm. bank and then they will cancel it for mm-hmm. me. That's the procedure that I... No, because... 
uh, they they cannot cancel it because the money it's already been debited to your account okay and i'll find a way and i'll give it to i'll give you the way because it's our money okay right well of course your saving account and both uh, both account and hold but we just left your checking account because you have to return the 30000 dollar to return to us okay but as you can understand susan like we don't have any way right now to return that money because if you go and tell your bank directly that you got the money accidentally or this or that they will simply ask for the service tax like 30 30% or 25% i don't know that because when you sending a money to a person it will ask you the service tax is that right or wrong you know that very well so susan i just want you to help me in personally okay so you can keep your money and your account back so i can get my company money and my 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 everything back my job back okay you yeah, have right. to just help me with personally so all right how far is this bank is well all i know is it takes me about 20 minutes to drive to it we already spoke with your bank main branch okay and they cannot credit to us okay and they cannot put a oh. hold on that because it's already been credited to your account but it's already been credited to your account and we cannot take it reverse because it's a refundable account refundable account means to refund money not to accept money well i need you to slow down um We're only talking thirty thousand dollars. That's not that much money. Um, you're acting Sorry. like it's a big Sorry? panic. What you're talking about? I make thirty thousand dollars every two months. I mean, that's not that much money. Oh, ma'am, but for for my company, it's a big money, ma'am. Okay, you can understand this problem, ma'am. All right. Well, PayPal is a is a multi-billion-dollar corporation. Thirty thousand is a drop. No, 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 no. It's a. It's not, ma'am. Ma'am, it's a cancellation department. People have different different department. Like people have cyber team. People have many department. We are working with the Better Business Bureau, and we are refund like we are the banking team, ma'am, who like who refund the money to our client. Those who right. got like those who charge those who charge like suspicious charge or fraud charge, we help them. Okay. It's not that big of a deal to me. I'll just put it to you that way. Okay, no issue with that, ma'am. That's very beautiful, ma'am. If you go to your bank, okay, our people will come to your house to collect that money. Okay, is that okay with you? Our company team will come and collect with collect the money from your house. I don't know how. Uh, I do believe, like when you go to the Cypress Credit Union Bank, they will give you the cash, thirty thousand dollar cash. If no. you go like one no, two branches. Don't. No, any. Okay, any if you no no no. If, no, let, let me hmm? tell you why. My husband and I mm -hmm. have my husband and I have a prenuptial agreement. The most I can pull out without getting his signature is one thousand dollars. Like without his, if you if you take out the money without his permission, what will happen? Okay, in order to take out more than a thousand dollars, my husband has to show up at the bank and sign a consent form in front of a notary public at the bank. He has to do the same thing if he wants to pull out more than a thousand. I have to show up to sign the agreement. So how you take out the cash then? How you said like you it's not a big deal for you. So it how are you going to do it? I was thinking I would wire it to an accounts payable of PayPal. Okay, like if we provide you a wire, like if we provide you a wire, then they will ask you many questions. Like why are you sending this money to whom? Do you are sending this money? They will ask you many questions, and they right. will ask you like like many you have to answer, and they will charge you like service tax. But month like. No, Susan, they won't. as you can understand. No, they no they won't. Uh, uh, no, they won't. Two years ago, I was able to send it was twenty three thousand dollars to Carnival Cruises mm -hmm. without having to have my husband's mm -hmm. signature. And when my husband mm -hmm. came up, when my husband came home, he said, "What happened to the twenty three thousand?" And I said, "Honey, we're going to go mm -hmm. on a cruise." And I I shook my little tushy, and he said, "Oh, baby." You are such a surprise. <laughs> so, that's the rule. The rule. Okay, and where you where you send that money? And where you send that money? It went to it went to a company called Carnival Cruise. So you can write it. Do not make any type of mistake in the name or anything. Okay. Right, and that's a biz. That's a business. Okay, what does the business do? Yes, yes, ma'am. What does the business do? Ma'am, that I don't know, ma'am. That's my banking, like my banking team give this information, okay, to return the money. I didn't ask them, ma'am. You know that very well that I'm a colleague over here. 
you need to just write it on each and everything let put yeah. you, put me on hold put me on a speaker and yeah, write it I'm on gonna... each and everything yeah this this is going to take about 5 minutes i can tell Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You can. All right. Ma'am, you can. You can take seven minutes, but try it on beautifully. Okay. Do not do mistake. Okay. I, I will. When I send the wire transfer over ten thousand dollars, I have to fill out an IRS mm -hmm. form, and I have to do. I have to fill out the purpose of the transfer. Am I paying them no, for no, no, a no, service? No. Look up no, IRS. No, 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 ma'am. Ma Look up IRS eight form eighty three hundred. It's been that way since no 1994. Oh, okay, okay. No issue with that, ma'am. But right now, there is no on, going to, no, nobody. Listen to me, form, Susan. Listen to me. On the form, I have to state the reason for the transfer. You are doing the business. You are making an investment, okay, an with this company, all right? No, no, okay, no. Listen that. to me. This is the, listen to me. This is the this is the company. Okay, you are sending the money. They will they will send you authorization later in your email. Okay, when the transfer is done. Okay, so if anybody will ask you anything, you can just simply show them a paper that yes, I got this money extra and I just written this money to them. Okay, because this is legit. You need to tell your bank and you need to tell them right. I want to send this money to this business. Okay, you are doing the business and and you have to send like twenty nine thousand. Okay. I thought it was like 29,000, listen to me, 29,900, sorry, uh, what is the refund amount? What is the refund amount? $300, right? Right, so it would be 29,600. Okay, so you are supposed to return it back to me, 29,600 USD, okay? And listen to me, ma'am, you need to do it. No, I was uh, gonna, you need to do it. I was going to send uh -huh. it in bank. I was going to send it in pesos. What do you expect? Of course, it's USD. Okay. No, no, no. I just put it down, okay? USD. And ma'am, Susan, Susan. I only work with the United States dollars. Why would I send it in another format? No, no, no. You don't have to. I'm sorry. That is my mistake, okay? Now, listen to me very carefully, okay? This is the investment. You are doing the investment. Uh -huh. That is why you are sending this money. All right. Okay. And one more thing, and one more thing, you need to you need to just put it in your head. They will give you the receipt, okay? Right. All right. right. And you need to just send me. You need to just come and give me the receipt. And how you will give me the receipt from the email, okay? You need to tell your bank. I want a receipt in my email also, okay? You need to tell your bank, okay? Right. All right. And do not hang up the call, ma'am. When you reach, listen to me, ma'am. When you reach the bank parking lot, you need to say, Hey, David, I'm in the parking lot. Just release my account so I can send the money, okay? You take your sweet time. Drive safely. You take your sweet time. I'm on the line, okay? Drive safely. Oh. All, All right? right? Put me on a speaker. Right? Okay, and I'm... when you reach the parking lot, listen to me, Susan. When you reach the parking lot, don't go inside the bank without letting me know, okay? Because your account is on a hold, okay? I'm going to put you on speaker and set you back Hello? down on the seat. I'm putting you down on the seat. Park and drive. Oh, okay, okay, you drive safely. I'm sorry. Calm down. Calm down. Drive safely. Now, just make it, uh, let me make you understand, ma'am. As you can understand, like we never face this type of problem, okay? And you will come to see in your checking account. First, go and ask your balance, okay? If they will say, if they will tell you, like, yes, in your checking account, there is like $77,000, okay? Then you have to tell them that I want to do a wire of $29,600, okay? And if they will ask you, like, for what purpose or uh, anything, ma'am, Suzanne, I just really want a simple help, a uh, one help from you, okay? This is the last thing you need to do for me and for Eric. Just help me to get rid of this problem, please. Please just go and just wire the money and give me the receipt, okay? Yeah, I don't... That's you're, all. You're, you're making it sound like it's harder than it really is. I mean... I don't know why. So, I mean, I've what, done... what? 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 I have. It's not that much money. No, no, no. Why? Okay. Well, no, 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 no. Yes, yes. You have a. You have a good question. Let me tell you. Because, because right now we never face this problem, and and I don't know about this wire and all. Okay. That is why. See, this is in my heart. This is my heart inside my heart. Okay. That is why I'm for. I'm just explaining you, ma'am. Do this. Do that. Oh, go do this, go do this, king in the castle. You have done a lot of time. I never done a lot of time. You need to understand my situation. 
okay you have done lot of times like wire whatever it is but i never done this okay this is the first time ma'am that is why i'm telling you please help me so get rid of this problem ma'am that is why i'm telling you or else why i'm going to tell you like that i'm going to ask you to be professional and calm down this isn't that much money mm -hmm. you're, you're you're acting okay. like like it's the end of the world and it's a tiny amount of money Yes, ma'am. For for my for me, it's a plenty of money, ma'am. You need you don't understand, ma'am. You are a rich person. I'm not. I'm gonna put you in my purse. Okay, you can put me in your purse. Just go and wire the money and come out. All right. And Susan, hello. Okay, I'm trying to go into the bank. What do you want? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm saying. I'm saying that. Okay, shut you can go. Shut the No, you can put. Shut the fuck up. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to do this. Now shut the fuck up. Okay. I'm getting okay, sick and okay, tired okay. of your voice. I'm getting sick and tired of your your nasally voice. You sound disgusting. Okay. You sound like a Okay, okay. I'm not going to talk like I'm not going to talk like that, okay? You sound like no, a go creepy, get it. Okay, go like do a, it. You sound like a creepy pervert. No, I'm not. I'm not, okay? Then no, go shut, and get it and then put a shut, Then shut okay. the fuck up. Hello, I'm here to do a wire transfer. Here's my Utah driver's license. And here's my Cypress Credit Union debit card. How much are you going to be wiring today? Um, I'm going to be wiring $29,600. So let me just, I'm going to log in over here. Okay, now you can see the screen? Yes, I can. That's nice. And yeah. thanks for sharing Once that. Filled out. We'll verify it, of course. And I can notarize it right here as well. I'll verify the funds and help you get get you out of here a lot faster than the older days when you had to go fill it out and wait in line again and what is the purpose of the wire um on this one i'm uh, making an investment a business investment yes you can consider it to be a, a personal investment into a business actually is the one way, I, way i would put it okay. do you know the person that you are wiring the money to um i don't know them personally but from a standpoint of business i could say that i i know them they're they're reputable now do you have the um the name the account holder the yes, account I have, number I have, routing and address i have it on this piece of paper here um got everything on it and you're doing this on your own free accord nobody's called you forcing you to send money or telling you that you owe money that you were unaware of none of those things at all it's on my own accord Hold on, let me try that again. Something didn't work with the account number. All right. The account that you gave me, I could not wire any money to. It's Why? currently being held on a, um, you see the, oh. see the flags here? Yeah, and it's got like five of them. And then the FBI right. logo. Why is the FBI logo? Right. So, so this account is currently being held. It's under a federal investigation oh, for fraudulent right. oh. activity. So wow. no bank can send money here. Any bank that pulls up this account number is going to get notified. And now, really? as you can see here, where it's flashing on the bottom, saying that I have to report why somebody is trying to send money here. So like I said, you might got to be a mistake. The numbers. I, think, I think there's right. a mistake. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to go back out to my car. There's a phone call I can make. Maybe I did do a typo. Okay, um, I had some, I ran into trouble when I went to do the wire. She had trouble processing it and then showed me the screen. And what I was shown was a series of flags that were placed around the account. And it even had the, um, what appeared to be the FBI logo. And she said that they might- Yes, ma'am, because we are what ma'am, ma'am. Because we are working with the Better, uh, Better Business Bureau and the FBI. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 I mean, to, okay. Okay. I understand right now. I understand. It shows up. That is why they are suspicious, and they said that we cannot send you the money in this account information. Right? No issue with that, ma'am. No issue with that. Uh, listen to me. You are doing very good, ma'am. Let me give you another account information. That is a fresh okay. account information. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, number two coming up, folks. <laughs> Okay, can you can you see this is the new account? Okay, this is the business account. All right. right. You can go to the next branch. Okay, and you can deposit right. it, ma'am. 
and you know the ad uh, they will ask you do you know this person just tell me yes i know this person all right ma'am you are smart enough you can do it okay all right so you are driving right now to the another branch yeah i'm heading out so when you reach the parking lot just say hello to me okay when you okay. when you enter the bank okay okay, okay you drive safely may god bless you may god bless you susanna well thank you that's kind of you hello um, i do have a question Yes, yes, you can ask. Okay, so the the reason for sending it to this company, I was thinking of telling them what I was going to um uh-oh. I'm getting an urgent text message. My my hospital is paging me. Oh, good lord. Oh, honey, I'm Oh, don't have, worry. I have to I have to turn the car around and get to Provo, Utah. We have a triage and they're expecting me to be there. as soon as possible we have people okay, with, a, with an epidemic it's something to do with mpox i don't know if you heard of it it recently no it, it's a pretty serious thing um i I'm, i'm going to have to turn the car around and go to provo all right ma'am you can go anywhere but go which is nearest by you okay and you can do it in 20 30 minutes ma'am and then you can oh, go no. for your to meet it your husband it, No, my husband it's a hospital. I have a, I'm a nurse. Oh my goodness. There are people oh dying. Oh my goodness. I, I have to go. Okay, okay, okay. I Don't call call as, I will call you as soon as I can. Where are you? Are you going to the hospital right now? Yes, I'm taking the exit and I'm turning around and getting you back on the freeway and going south. Okay, then what about the what about the wire transfer? I don't have to wait until I know what the status is. I'll try to call you before 4 p.m., okay? Ma'am, I we ma'am, we cannot do that, ma'am. You have to do it right now, so we can get the money into the end of the day, ma'am. Or else they're gonna lock the account and put the hold on it. I have to call the doctor. I will talk to you later, okay. okay? So there you have it, folks. Over two and a half hours were wasted on this scammer, and two U.S.-based business banks were reported to the Fed. Um all I can say is this is the best possible outcome for a scam bait. We not only wasted the scammer's time, but we've also turned in two criminal organizations residing in the United States who now have to face the federal government for breaking the law. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you guys next time and during my live streams. Take care.